Good morning. <sighs> Today is day one. I'm actually recording my day-to-day -day struggles and things as to how hard it is becoming a designer. This is the real deal Holyfield unfiltered. As you can see, so my camera's here, but I can see here. My hair, natural, not even any grease. It hasn't even been brushed, not really. I just put it back in a ponytail. No earrings. I'm just here. And I know you guys usually see that I don't really go out of the house. I usually am natural for the most part, but I like to keep my eyebrows and my eyelashes and lip gloss. If I have that, then I'm good in my nails. So, um, yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, my name is Dion Harold. I'm 33 years old. And this is my first day officially as a designer. Um, I live in, currently live in Huntsville, Alabama, um, well, Harvest, Alabama, and I'm from Virginia, VA, two up, two down. Um, I was born in Richmond, Virginia, and I was raised in Northern Virginia, and, um, I moved to the Seven Cities, so I was in Newport News and Virginia Beach, you know, it's not that far from each other, so I was there, and, uh, Williamsburg, Virginia met my husband and we moved to Huntsville Alabama and here we are um not too really happy that I got fired from my job because um, I was a GM and um, I'm used to making money I'm used to not even having to think twice and I can make money so this is gonna be really interesting a um, little emotional it's a little bittersweet but I just know that I got to stay focused and not lose. They fired me because they said I couldn't have two jobs. Two jobs. So now this is God saying this is my job, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyway, um... So I will be recording. You guys will be seeing everything that's going on with me and what I go through. Just so you can see it's for real. You know, um, my goal is to figure out how to continue living the life that I was living before I got fired from my job and make it work for me. So if you want to continue watching, please give a thumbs up like comment and subscribe we are going to go day to day and just figure this out together that's the only thing i can think of um i'm definitely not looking forward to being bad at bougie but we're going to show how you can be completely so i'm highly excited about the journey that i have um don't let this fool you because when you put some water and grease on it it's good okay so don't try to be talking about it but you know what if you do it's okay why because i'm a designer i can create i am a creator so therefore you can talk all you want to i don't really care this is just me being me i'm gonna speak how i feel and i'm not even gonna worry about it like i'm not tripping you can judge me all day long it doesn't matter but i'm gonna have fun i'm happy like I have no money, but I am happy. Is that even possible? Is that even possible? I really don't know. But we're going to find out together. That's all. So, I'm here in my garage. That's why I have a coat on. In my sewing room. We're just going to make this thing work. Fabric everywhere. That's the dog. Her name is Minnie. So, anyway... Um, let's see what else we have here. We have a couple appointments today, so you guys will be going with me on that. Um, and I will go.
go over a couple of things as to how I create my looks um, without spending money, little to no money at all. That's the whole goal. So this is just the intro. Just wanted you guys to see me in my natural state and you'll see me or you've already seen me in my glam mode. Yes, I do the makeup, I do the hair. Again, we gotta save money. Now I'm gonna learn how to put gel on these nails and then I'll be in the game. So anyway, um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'd probably be crying while well, I was crying like two minutes ago. So I was listening to Lisa Nichols and um, just going, just reaffirming myself, going over some affirmations and things like that for my life. And I just got a lot of work to do. There is no manual for the industry. I've called my mentors, you know, Michael Knight, um, he passed away, so I've been in a funk. But my other mentor, Derek Hill, he's just like, suck that shit up. That's literally what he tells me, suck that shit up. And I'm like, oh my God. But I need that, I need people around me that'll keep me focused. And sometimes you have to go backwards in order to go forwards. I grew up in the hood, so therefore, I already know how to do things, you know? I know how to struggle. And I've always told people, make struggle look good. And now, I'm back to literally making struggle look good. I thought I left this when I was younger, growing up in the hood with nothing. And here we are, again. But I know wherever I go, money goes. God will always provide for everything that I need. No, I don't need to get my full face done all the time and things like that. Right now, it's just my husband working. So, yeah. Today, I ate a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Not because I had to. My husband's a chef, so it's just that, you know, I really, I didn't want to you know, go out like I usually do and get a T-bone steak and things like that. Like, I literally have to save money. Like, yeah. <sighs> How do you save when you spend? Always have money to put it back. Always have money to do whatever. But that's the main issue. We're going to make this work. I have no choice. I have no choice. This is hard. It's only been one day. <laughs> and it's hard. Actually, when I'm, while I'm recording this, it's been a month. So far. So. But I came up with that, this idea. Day one. Just documenting what I go through. So, it's been a month. Um, it has made me closer with my husband. But... I just really want to be successful and I don't want to fail, but I understand that this is fail. This is what failing feels like and it's okay, you know, because if I didn't try, I wouldn't have been the only female in the company that was a GM that lasted that long, that helped the company the way that I did. Don't even get me started. I was putting so much into that company, so much. I was giving them my everything, working on my days off and everything. And to have someone tell you, you're fired. You can't have two jobs. Like, I wasn't looking at this as a job. But I'm like, okay, if you're telling me that it's a job, then okay. Okay, Lord. Okay, Lord, I hear you. You want this to be a job. You want me to, to do this. It's in my hands. You gave me the gift. I completely understand. I'm not happy about it because you sort of did it abruptly. But then I have to think about it because he did tell me when I signed, when I got the job that it was only a, for a certain amount of time. But I was trying to milk that till I couldn't milk it no more. And he took it from me. <sighs> so anyway, it is November the 10th on a Friday my birthday I'll be 34 November 23rd 
So this is gonna be really interesting. Shrinkage is the mother I know. My little puppo. Inches. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be an exciting ride and I can't wait. I'm still working on the line here, covered girl. And um the main thing is getting to New York. It's like, okay, yeah, I had the money to do all this stuff. And I had plans for that money. Plans. Go to New York Fashion Week. Blow up your weight. You have dreams. God, Jesus, Lord, Allah, whatever you guys call him. <sighs> Sorry, I died. Anywho, I'm excited for what is about to come, and um, we're going to just make this work, guys. I know I keep saying it. I'm saying it over and over again, not just for you guys, but for me, really. Like, <laughs> me and him, got we got to make this work. Actually, you. You make it work. You make it work for me. I'm just going to follow what you tell me to do and just go from there. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sew clothes and then you work out the rest of it cool okay so like i tell everybody fashion is my ministry wait wait my name is dion harold i am the people's designer and now i really am the people's designer my name is dion harold i am the people's designer fashion is my ministry the runway is my pulpit and as you guys can see, I've laid myself on the altar. And I'm asking that you join me. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, uh, talk to you guys later.